Guess where I'm at? Back at the airport. So I went for my Mexico trip. I had three days at home and now I didn't even realize that my Turkey trip is literally like this following weekend or the following weekend, which is now. So I am here on my way to my gate to Turkey, Istanbul. I'm so excited because the last time I was here, I had such a great experience. And I am bringing this time a new person that I've never traveled with before, my queen, Riri. So we are on our way to find her. And this is her first time out of the country. So I'm so happy to gift this to her. And it's just gonna be so fun. It's just gonna be a weekend of dance and travel. It was so funny, like literally just two days, I was just up there walking to customs to get back home. And now I'm here. And that's exactly how, how my schedule works all the time. It's literally just back to back. I'm so happy I took that Mexico trip because it's just gonna be traveling and airport and planes from here on out all the way until the end of the year, which I'm not complaining, but a bitch is gonna be tired, but I'm so excited. We have amazing choreographers on the lineup here. So ready to see my queens in Turkey. So let's go. Say hi to my YouTube. Hi. Are you excited? Very excited. Are you? Nervous? No, I feel safe. Good, good. <laughs> what about like meeting all these people? You know, bitch, you gotta be on stage by yourself, fucking demonstrating while I'm gonna be on the floor directing with my mic, being loud and annoying as fuck. <laughs> but you're gonna be on stage by yourself, so can you handle it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, this is Riri's first international trip. <laughs> We've been talking about this. Like, yeah, we've manifested We met, yes, we did. And I can't believe the day is finally here. gonna get ready but you know what you guys I never know what to teach when I am a guest choreographer somewhere so I was going through my YouTube going through my Instagram and I'm just like not getting excited over any of these routines like I almost kind of want to teach something new so that's currently what I'm going through let me show you guys my room super cute so here's the door you come in I have like a cute little entryway right here's my bathroom right Super cute shower. Ooh, I don't know. That needs to be drained. I need to tell by this, tell somebody to do that. Then you come in and it's super 
cute. Like, look at this character. Look at that little, I love that tufted couch, my bed. So it's not a huge room, but it's perfect for what's going on right now. Not too big, not too small. Sometimes I have a little bit of anxiety sleeping by myself when I travel alone and when I have my own room. It's crazy because I would rather have my own room than share it with somebody. But then once when it's time to like fall asleep, I would rather have somebody in the room in order for me to have like a deep sleep. You know what I'm saying? So I think I'm just going to do my makeup, do my hair. Hopefully some inspiration will pop up and we'll be on our way to class. Let me do my makeup really quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys. And just like that, it is time for me to head to class. I actually filled up my time by filming a whole get ready with me TikTok. So I feel good that I was productive, filmed some content, and now it's time to go teach. I mean, I still don't know what the fuck I'm going to teach. So we're going to figure that out in the car. So let's go. Just made it back. Stage. I have a cute little waiting Ziggy area. Little, little Ziggy Zig for us. We barely decided what I was gonna teach. I still kinda don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna rehearse what the choreography is and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what I feel like. So we'll see what happens once we get out there. And look how cute. Thank you, Nike. And thank you, High Heels Dance Camp. Dance Fabrica, Camp Fabrica for my goodies. Thank you. Who is it now? to the room I as you can see I just got out of the shower bitch so I taught my class I taught Blick Blick by Nicki Minaj it was great everybody killed it and the legendary Brian Friedman he actually taught before me so we were that was our first time meeting shout out to you Brian amazing I can't believe I'm so mad at myself that this is that today was my first time taking your class but wow like I understood before but boy do I understand like even even more after today. I taught my class and then the great Nicole Kirkland came. Shout out to you, Kirkland. She was like, bitch, she was, you know, she was getting ready to take Brian's class after me. I was like, Brian, what you teaching? He said, heated by Beyonce from the Renaissance album. I said, what? I was like, mm, I have to, I had to. I didn't even think twice. Like usually when it comes to taking other people's classes, it's so fucking scary. Y'all need to understand how scary it is. But when you love the song and it's from a legend such as Brian Friedman, like you have to step up to the plate. It's been a while since I took somebody's class. It's been a while since I've been humbled. A choreographer can be an amazing dancer doing their own style, but it makes them like like even more special if they know how to take somebody else's class and kill it as if it was their own choreo. Now I didn't do that today, bitch. <laughs> Yo, Brian's class. So I ended up taking it. You'll see some footage I ended up taking and wow. I haven't had anyone else's choreo on this body in a minute. So when I tell you it was a struggle, child, it was a struggle, but you know what? He called us out. It was me, Cisco, Nicole, and Marie. We all four of us did it together, all scared as like scared shit 
bucket list and we did it and I think that was like the best time we've ever done it that was the best time that I've ever done it so I'm proud of myself and it's really showing me how I want to keep my dancer brain fresh I don't want to just get comfortable you know doing my own choreo anybody can do their own choreo but can you do your own choreo and fuck someone else's up too when it's the time so I'm so happy I was able to go in front of my students today and teach them this lesson of never being too good not to take somebody else's class I don't care how great of a dancer you are yeah that's what happened so now I am struggling to get ready we are going to dinner and then we have a welcome party with the students and with the staff I'm trying to gather my strength and that's what we're gonna do so let's get ready yeah coming in hot guys it is day three of my turkey trip and i am starting to hurt i definitely slept in till 11 that's because i didn't go to sleep until like 3 4 after a full day of dance yesterday my body is just so mm. She's almost done and I have to teach another class. So we're definitely taking it slow, but I am headed to the rooftop to get me something to eat, child. I need to regain this strength and then get ready for class. So let's go day three. Do you realize how much they love you? Bitch, Riri? Let me tell you something. Y'all don't know her. Y'all don't know her because y'all haven't met her. But I promise you, I feel like she was activated today. That was the best performance I've seen. Girl. Yeah, she moved in my hands and killed yeah. up her bitch. <laughs> so proud of you. Love you. Love you. Oh, all right, you guys. So we just finished the last class of High Heels Dance Cap Istanbul Turkey. You know, you already know they say the best for last, bitch. And we killed it. We killed it. They loved it. Everybody's happy. All of these countries that were here at the camp. You guys should be very proud of yourselves. I love you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. So we are on our way to the Turkish ball. This is my first ball and I'm giving ass. I don't know if I should walk out like this. I'm just gonna put this sweater around. I just don't like being so exposed, like whether it be my breast or my ass. But once when we're in the venue and we're at the show, then I'll feel better to just take it off and be free. Cause I know everybody is like gonna give something. So this is my first ball. I'm so excited. And the fact that I'm done teaching, like there's no more class anymore. My job is done. Now I get to just have fun. Like I'm looking forward to that. We're already running late. Like hopefully it didn't start. So let's go. Down with it. Down, Down with it. it. Don't give no fucks with it. Don't, Don't give no fucks with it. We do it. We do it. We do it. Cause we used to it. So drink motherfucking drink. So drink motherfucking drink. Wow, 
wow, wow, wow, wow. After four days, four special, fulfilling, inspiring days here in Turkey, it finally has come to an end. I am on my way to the airport to head back to America and I'm ready, but then I'm also very hmm too because I really love this city and I love this camp and it just gets better every time I come. But I'm ready to see my husband and my babies. Kind of a little bittersweet today. I want to thank my queen Marie for being here and assisting me throughout this whole trip. I love you. Thank you so much. I want to thank High Heels Dance Camp, Camp Fabrica for bringing me out here and Omar and, and Cece. I want to thank my, my Turkey students and and everybody else from all these different countries that took my class this past weekend. I wanna thank my fellow choreographers and instructors for the support and the love always, every time we see each other and the respect. It's it really, it means a lot. And I'm gonna thank my universe for such an extraordinary opportunity for me to continue to explore, do what I love, and live my life the way that it should be lived. Thank you guys for watching this video. Until the next country, until the next month, which I'll be in Greece, hopefully. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.